Yo, what's up, guys? This is ENTP dot nurture back again, and in this video, I'm gonna share the biggest thing that I learned in 2019, and I promise you, by the end of this video, you are gonna learn something truly, truly profound. So let's go. Whatever happens, happens. In this video, we are going to explore three things, three philosophies that I have personally learned. It all started in February. I needed a rough book, so I went to a cupboard. I took out a rough book. I opened the first page and I see my 2018 New Year resolution. And in 2018, I was not dumb. I was smart. I knew I could, I should not make, you know, big goals because you're not going to accomplish it. So I created very small goals. Learn one trick, sing one song, produce one music, you know, just one for an entire year. And in 2019, when I was reading that, I thought, damn, not even one did I accomplish. So in 2019, I was determined, you know what I will make. A YouTube video I will create a YouTube channel so that you know I can share whatever I've learned so far I decide to have so I decide to make a YouTube video in February however I was occupied with something so I thought you know what once this thing gets over I'm gonna make that YouTube video and I'm gonna produce amazing high quality videos February finishes, no video. March, no video. April, my birthday was 28th April. I, I thought, you know what, at least before my birthday, I will make out one video, I'll make one video. My birthday passes, still no video. Then June, and by the end of June, I was like, you know what, how hard is it to click uh, to click record button and upload it to YouTube. How hard can it be? And when July hit, I one day just came to the office, you know what, I'm recording the worst video I possibly can. And here lies the first philosophy that I learned. The first philosophy that I learned was you need to produce a lot of bad things so that the good ones can follow. I wanted to make the best video in my first attempt. However, I mean, today I realize, you know, I just need to produce a lot of bad stuff so that the good ones can follow. But we all want to make that perfect thing because you see because when we look around, we see perfect. You open Instagram, you see perfect people, perfect pictures. You go to Facebook, you see perfect lives. However, they don't show you all the bad things and they only show you the good things that followed after the bad things. But the reality is, you can go check out my first video. I, I was just in somewhere, I, I used to hold the phone like this vertically and it was me blabbling about i had to like you know make a video and had to like make a choice and this is like my first video stuff like that my friends told me to remove that video but i did it because you know i wanted people to know the entire journey and how raw that video was so moving on i create my first video and i get used to it a bit but my goal wasn't just making youtube videos i had many goals like you know i wanted to paint i wanted to create music i wanted to uh, focus on my career uh, 
a lot of skills that I wanted to learn but I didn't have enough time or I felt like I didn't have enough time or the resources I didn't have enough time or the resources to be able to produce music and to be able to you know make something and again July August August I was like you know what I don't care using the first philosophy I just need to produce a very very bad art how hard can that be so I went to my local stationery store and uh, I buy the cheapest paints that they have I come to the house I I take a A4 size paper and I start painting and I look at my painting I'm like whoa this is good and it was so relaxing and I thought you know what this is amazing so every day for a month I thought you know what if I could make a painting every day for a month that would be amazing so I, I tried making a painting every day for a month you could see my Instagram and in, uh, here and then I wanted to produce music I met with another ENTP amazing guy uh, he produces the the most amazing music that I have ever heard so I go to his house I have a melody in mind so I tell him the melody and it's like a and he just makes the amazing beat and he makes a beat and I'm like whoa this is amazing right and herein lies the second philosophy that I learned it is the idea of abundance the idea of abundance now before I tell you what the idea of abundance is we need to know what abundance is right so, so the abundance definition is the ability to do what you want to do when you want to do it that's it the ability to do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it that's abundance and the philosophy behind abundance is that when you learn that you can do more with less then you can do less and get more when you learn that you can do more with less then you can do less and get more when i was painting i i was thinking damn just with such simple things i could create su such good paintings and the more i created paintings the more opportunities arise to improve my skill and you know to hone my craft the same goes with music and the only thing that stopped me before was this was this very naive idea that only if I had this, I would start that. Man, I just needed this. If I had this, everything would fall in place and I would start. But the reality is, you'll never have everything that you need. And that is why this idea is so powerful, which removed me from this loop of thinking that I needed lot lot more now moving on of course i had a huge resistance trying to paint trying to produce music or trying to create these youtube videos there was a period of time during which for one month i didn't release any video and the pattern that i saw that i kept doing is that i oftentimes created a huge goals because one can dream because we all are dreamers we dream big things but because we dream big our goals also tend to be super big but here's the trick if your mind knows you cannot hit the goal if your mind believes that it cannot hit the goal with the things that you currently have it will never execute that goal like it won't even start so it's better for you to create smaller goals and over hit than creating bigger goals and under it so this plays a huge role in me trying to wake up every day in the morning 
and this waking up every day in the morning started when started in february and i knew you know man i tried it for we all look at the self help video successful people and they say yeah i wake up at 4:30 i meditate i go to gym i have a morning routine and when you and you look at them and you like you know i also want a morning routine right so you try waking up at 2 in the morning and then suddenly you realize how hard it is to just wake up let alone go to gym do the stuff they do and that is when it hit you know what my goal was too big my goal waking up at 2 was too big so the first goal that i tried to hit was okay prem can you open your eyes at 2 in the morning let's try opening our eyes so the alarm clock hit i open my eyes i said good that took like a week okay prem can you open your eyes and then watch a youtube video and then go back to sleep that's it i wake up and after a week i was able to uh, open my eyes and watch a youtube video now i had to just wake up every day watch a motivational video that's my next goal and once i could do that i decided you know what can i just watch a motivational video sitting up okay i can do that okay can i watch a motivational video sitting up in that chair yeah i can do that and can i just watch a motivational video go sit in that chair and then brush brush my teeth and once i brush my teeth i was conscious enough you know to not go back to sleep so that is my process is to create small 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 goals and keep hitting it and to find joy in completing the small goals so to summarize this video the first philosophy is you need to do a lot of bad things so that the good ones can follow the second one is that second one is when you learn that you can do more with less then you can do less and get more the kind of opportunities that i got by doing stuff that that would have been impossible had i just kept reading books and and never took action and the final philosophy is it's a, it's it is better when you create small goals and over hit rather than you create big goals and under hit so you just create small goals and I forgot to mention this when you create a goal and you couldn't hit it that means the goal was too big so you have to create smaller goals and it can be as small as blinking your eye overachieve so that you'll always be an overachiever so that concludes my video if you watched this far i would like you to subscribe like and comment i would love to know what you guys think and please share that do helps and like yes i'll see you in the next video peace